Hello YouTube, I want to make this video which is overdue for a long time and it is about my forehead. <laughs> uh, not really, this is my Ken Gage Pro that I finished uh, oh, at the beginning of this year almost I think and it's been in my car ever since and um, this is actually the second unit uh, for anybody who is picky like me or very keen in seeing details I want to show you you see this hole and this hole is different size than the other ones uh, <clears throat> this case was done and Although I set the company to anodize it and using one of those screw holes to connect the electrode to it, they did hang it from a hole and anodized it and then the hole got uh, had burned edges and this is the best I could fix. I could probably done better but um, it gets bigger and bigger to make it look better. And then they, after they showed me the picture and I complained, they made a second one. And they actually sent me two of these enclosures. The other one, I had a customer who wanted, who did buy one. And I obviously gave him the better case. And this is what I ended up using. Um, if you look at it, you see it. But uh, if it's in the car, you do not notice it. I do not notice it anymore and um, these would be made to order and of course they would not have any problems uh, as you can see i think i showed the case by itself but it's been a while uh, otherwise the case ended up perfectly there is not a single blemish the anodizing is perfect and um Yes, I did design this case and then had it fabricated in China, obviously, otherwise it would cost me an arm and a leg, which it still cost me a, a couple of fingers for this case. <laughs> uh, anyway, without making the video too long, because I know people do not like to wait too long or watch too long of movies, uh, videos. So that's a startup song. Uh, can be edited I just left it like that and this is the first screen which uh, I have it connected to my simulator over here and you have water temperature throttle position speed rpm and gear indicator I showed these a couple of times before so um, this is actually for a stick shift I still have that code on there <clears throat> even though I have automatic but I just wanted to show how it looks and you go into the menu by symbol touching the center of the screen and then you have the boost gauge which shows um, what was that I forgot <laughs> timing advance obviously timing advance voltmeter oil temperature which is a static um, value since I do not have an oil temperature sensor yet this is a uh, air fuel ratio and this is the pressure for uh, intake pressure as you can see and then you have a GPS screen which will probably come up empty now yes since I don't do not have a lock anyway you have the time date latitude longitude uh, satellites received you have a big um, speedometer and you have a max speed indicator and you have an altimeter up here uh, max speed can obviously be resetted reset through the menu you have a sport screen uh, which shows 0 to 60 miles per hour uh, acceleration 0 to 100 100 to 200 kilometers per hour and this is quarter time that's a quarter time um, 
light tree how was it called anyway and here's the speed you have the LED indicators as well as here and you start on green if you start too early uh, it will not work if you start too late it will not work either so you have to hit the green light and let me just simulate it now I hit the green light and I always do this too fast so once you hit the quarter mile it stops and then you have the 0 to 60 um, acceleration 0 to 100 time from 100 to 200 which is obviously too fast no car will do that in 3.4 seconds and here you have uh, max speed and the time it took so there's that as soon as you stop you can start again on the green and that boing sound that I just put it in there it can be of course uh, changed and whatnot and then you have the data screen which uh, fuel uh, consumption if you're standing it shows liter per hour when you're driving it shows liter per 100 kilometers you have engine load intake air temperature you have DTC errors these are obviously simulated uh, you have a runtime since you started the car up or the engine up uh, ambient air you have distance uh, traveled since mil the indicator um, DTC indicator on uh, and off and then you have catalytic converter temperature and you can again get out and then you have the setup screen you can change the units from metric to imperial you go back and then everything is in miles per hour and Fahrenheit Uh, max speed you can reset here I think it did it because I changed the, uh, the units the GPS now you have zero uh, miles per hour and then you have sound on sound off so you can turn it off and then you don't have any sound playing uh, fuel you can change between uh, LPG gas and diesel and fuel again uh, you have engine size that you can change for that's uh, that is used for the data screen for the fuel consumption so this is basically it um, let me change that back to metric and set the sound on I do like it so this is it this is my can gauge um, I think it has all the important stuff in here and um, also if you're in um, in the main screen you have the shift light on top it changes with rpm and in other screens it has different functions as you saw on the boost screen i did not use the new pixels and in the sports screen you have the indicator lights of the tree so uh, this is it uh, as I said I only would make these to order because it's just uh, too expensive to put this in stock and uh, to have it uh, laying around and uh, let me show you the back as well unplug it it has a nice logo and it has a LDR for dimming of the screen this is the input for the CAN bus 
and this is normally this will be closed i had this open for to upload code because i uploaded code like a million times to this thing so and i didn't want to take the back on and off and uh, <clears throat> so that's the hole for the port to upload code normally it will be of course closed and not open as you do not need to upload code to it so this is the back and this is my can gauge pro 1000 good that i pro put the name on it otherwise i would probably forgotten anyway uh, if you're interested let me know and um, this is it thanks for watching and thank you for all my supporters and take care everybody